Oh man, this is one of the biggest food events of the year. The Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation hosting this huge fundraiser and cookout. And you know what? Some of the nation's top chefs are going to be there. It's the eighth year for this event. Mary Sue Milliken from Border Grill is here. With a Hi. taste of what to expect. And uh, I think we can expect some pretty good things. We're talking about chefs from Chicago, New York, Cleveland. You know, all this is the chef community is so tight. And we have, you know, Mark Vetri coming from Philadelphia, Jonathan Waxman, Nancy Oaks from San Francisco, April Bloomfield, one of the most <sighs> exciting chefs of our time is if you're coming. A foodie, you know these names, yes. right? And, and we're all gonna be there, fifty of us cooking. And um, we're making actually two little tastes side mm -hmm. by side. One is a Salvadorian pupusa. Made with uh, La Rocco, which is this really cool flour. Oh, look at that. Yeah, and you can eat them. They taste great. You chop them up. You can taste one okay. if you like. And we, we mix them with cheese, and also we chop up um, regular squash mm, flowers. That's a little surprise flavor. Yeah, huh? it's isn't bitter it? at first. Yeah. And then kind of um, nutty. It's green. So it's good. We're, we're always looking for cool new ingredients. So we put all that with cheese and wrap it in a ball of masa, mm -hmm. and then we put it on the kamal like this. Okay. And then so you actually be making this at the right event right in front of people. And the event, you know, there's wine and you know all kinds of fun things to do. You can bring your kids. Everybody under 12 comes for free. Yeah. There's a kids zone, so it's great. The yeah. kids get to go play. The parents get to enjoy some yeah. some really yummy food and libations. There's going to be mixology. Just there, oh, bartenders, yeah. hard to vintners. resist helping childhood and childhood c cancer too. And we should mention Alex's lemonade. This is primarily for research, and a lot of the money goes right to UCLA. They're doing some uh, groundbreaking research right here in LA. Yeah, very exciting. So we're exciting. looking at the event from uh, I believe last year when they raised a million dollars. A million dollars. Yeah. All right. So show us how you do this, Mary Sue. So, so this is the cortito. It's just a little uh, little salsa that we make with a pickled watermelon rind. We're really excited about using things that otherwise would go into the waste stream and making mm -hmm. taste good. And green papaya and cabbage just mixed up. And then we're going to be serving, this is how we'll serve it at the event, a little wedge of pupusa with the cortito. And then this is Peruvian poke. Oh, poke you know so poke. big right now. Right. Yeah. Except for this is a completely different kind of poke. Okay. It's made what with... Um, what is that? The tuna from the field. Oh. It's, Watermelon. You're kidding me. And beet juice frozen together in a bag. You can do this at home in, in a bag. And then when you, this is perfect for this kind of weather mm -hmm. too. When you cut it, it just looks exactly like tuna. It has a little bit of an earthy flavor from the beets, but then. You but try it's it. watermelon. It's watermelon, and we we uh, toss it with mm. kind That's of a sweet. a sand by Sioux mm -hmm. and um, which is I mean a, sorry. A ponzu, which is soy sauce, lime juice, and it has some chilies in it. And this then we so serve it in a, in a like a shot glass, or a, over here like in a martini glass. But you know, it's the end of summer. Watermelon's great, and I think that this will be a good thing to eat in the afternoon out there mm. at Royce Hall. Yeah, it's coming up in a few weekends. We've got the ticket information on our website. But one of the great things about this event is these are kind of things that we wouldn't make at home. But Top Chefs, uh, such imaginative dishes and things that you, the ingredients that you put together and the way you present it, that's what makes the day so special and of course the cause. And we're so happy to do it. Chefs are big hearted and we want to find a way to help that research do its job and, and childhood cancer. Yeah, raising so much money and, and most of it stays right here in LA for the research. All right. Thank you, Mary Sue. Thank uh, you. Tell Sandy. us where the restaurants are. Border Grill. In have, downtown LA. Yes, and one at LAX in the International Terminal and one at uh, in Pasadena at the Huntington Library and Museum. And doing creative things with sort of Tex-Mex, mm, yum. All right, here's your chance to win two tickets to LA Loves Alex's Lemonade. To enter, you can follow us. It's at CBS LA on Instagram or Twitter. And then just post a picture or tweet us maybe why you want to win using the hashtag CBS Alex's Lemonade. You can get full details at kcal9.com. For a look at the contest rules, just go to our website, kcal9.com, and seen on TV. And we're also going to put this recipe from you yes. up there on the website. All right, Mary Sue, thanks so much. Thank you, Sandy.